What happens to Matthew Perry's friend's residual income? These are the options. At the age of 54, Matthew Perry, who was most known for playing Chandler Bing on the popular sitcom Friends, passed away on Saturday. A sizable chunk of Perry's wealth came from his legendary role on the show, which brought in an estimated $20 million annually in syndication and streaming revenue. Perry's friends' residuals, or residual payments, are currently in doubt. Based on California law, there are three ways that Perry's residuals could be inherited, according to Charlie Douglas, president of HH Legacy Investments and certified financial planner. First off, Perry might have designated one or more people as the recipients of his residual payments. Naming a beneficiary for retirement accounts is comparable to this. Secondly, he could have designated a beneficiary that would determine the recipient of the residuals, a trust. Since trusts are private, unlike wills, it's possible that Perry's friend's income will remain a mystery to the public. Finally, it's possible that Perry did not designate any beneficiaries at all, in which case the distribution of his estate would be decided by state law. Since Perry never married or had children, his parents would likely be the recipients of his royalties and other assets. However, they could choose to give up their rights to the residuals through a qualified disclaimer, allowing the money to pass on to Perry's half-siblings. If no beneficiary is named and no qualified disclaimer is made, the probate court system would divide up Perry's assets.